Now, we're learning more and more about the royal family, aren't we? From Prince Harry's point... <laughs> Stop it! From yeah. Prince Harry's point of view, of course, intimate details are emerging from his bombshell book, Spare. Uh, one includes the moment that Princess Catherine was apparently taken aback uh, when Meghan asked to borrow her lip gloss backstage at an event. So, Harry wrote... Uh, this is my Harry impersonation. Meg squeezed some onto her finger and applied it to her lip. <laughs> Kate grimaced. <laughs> Small clash of styles, maybe. Something we should have been able to laugh about soon later. But it left a little mark. <laughs> oh, my God! What, is that uncanny? <laughs> just amazing. Yeah, I mean, I thought Prince Harry was sitting next to yeah, no. it's, it's the ginger beard that does it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's caring sharing. Uh, yeah, well, I, this is odd, because as a girl growing up, come on, we've all been out, nights out, where we're all sharing a bit of makeup or deodorant or asking people if you can borrow this. You, yeah. you know, I, tights. I've been yes. able to take somebody's tights people, and put them I mean, on. I, I think it's... That's when you were robbing banks. <laughs> <let that go. laughs> there was that. <laughs> <laughs> I think there is a sisterhood in the ladies' toilets where you would help each other out. You know? Not lip gloss. I wouldn't... I personally, what? and I'm not talking about them, I wouldn't... Lip, no, everyone's got the little thing, lip gloss. I've, a, I've asked a stranger, can I borrow her lip balm? She was putting her finger what, in. What's wrong that. with that? Would, a lip balm in the you toilet? Not, would you not You'd... use that, then? Would you not? No, That's I wouldn't mine. use somebody else's. No. Yeah, hey, go on, I dare go you. On, go on, go <laughs> on. I dare you. What would you be scared of happening by yeah, what using that? what do you think that? is going to happen? Yeah. I mean, I, really? I don't know, I just... I wouldn't, I wouldn't like it like I wouldn't like anyone using my toothbrush. Oh, no, like, that's right. I'm with you on that. Uh, that's wrong. See, I wouldn't mind that. You wouldn't mind that? Well, I don't want you using it, but I'd let Mark <laughs> use it, yeah. But his germs, everything that's collected in his teeth is going... Well, you know, it's not... <laughs> you can wash it afterwards, don't you? <laughs> and anyway, he wouldn't do it, he wouldn't borrow my... He'd rather not clean his teeth than use my toothbrush. But I would use his, not... I, and I haven't, just, but, just, I mean, he's uh, so precious about his, his toothbrush, it's... seriously. You're talking about hotels. When he goes to hotels, he wraps his toothbrush up in tissue, mummifies it, and then hides it because he thinks the maid's going to clean the toilet with it. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody just said they do that. Somebody in the orders just said they do that. Did someone do that as well? Somebody went, oh, 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 oh look. <laughs> what, what, why do you think the chambermaid is going to clean the <laughs> toilet with your tooth? What has he done to <laughs> the staff at that hotel to make him think that? I don't know. <laughs> but it's all these little lines that are coming out in this book, aren't they, between them? I mean, clearly, um, it didn't click from Prince Harry's point of view. It didn't click between uh, he and Meghan and William and Catherine, I think, as we, as we call her now. The other comment, of course, was about the baby brain that apparently mm. Meghan had made a throwaway remark about um, uh, Catherine maybe having baby brain, which she apparently took uh, offence to. It's, it's so difficult when you hear someone tell a story because it's all about tone, it's all about the relationship you have. Mm. There's so many subtleties. I think it's so difficult from the outside to judge what really happened. Like, mm. today, in the dressing room, I grabbed the top of Nadia's jeans and I said, God, you've lost weight, because I know you really, really well and I would feel comfortable saying that. If it was somebody that I didn't know well, I would never, ever say that, mm. because it might be offensive, no. it might be the wrong thing. There's boundaries. He's, you always say that to me, if you notice yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'm never going to be listen, offended. Listen, you you things... don't know, actually, if, if Kate, Catherine was offended, though. It's just... No, but that's what I'm saying, it's so difficult to tell. It's just just full of whinges Well, like no, that, I think it? I can assume there was some sort of... Spat. There must have been some sort of spat or some reoccurrence for her to have mentioned that she didn't like. But for, for, why would he mention that if there hadn't been some thing that was said? Because he's got to fill a book, hasn't he? <laughs> he's not very interesting. Yeah. No, but my... Is that there must have been some incident and they're giving their side of the story without us actually knowing no, what the, the other side, side well, of the story is. Exactly. Yeah. 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 And in exactly. context, if I said to somebody, say a friend didn't, I don't know, say, say they were meant to call me and they didn't call me, and I said, is it as an attack, oh, that's you and your ba baby brain, that's not very nice. But if I said, oh, don't worry about it, and justified her tiredness by saying, you know, we've all had baby brain, and you know what it's yeah. like. Yeah. No, so it's it different. Both what is of it? those, one's an attack, one's helping. What is it? What's baby brain? Is, is it a brain that a baby's it's got? The <laughs> no, it's the, <laughs> it's the fogginess that you get when you are multitasking for two people out of... I'm not sleeping. The, you've and... just been... Do you know two bottles of red wine? <laughs> it's similar. Oh, <laughs> <I'm not laughs> <an empty> <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, again, the hugging thing. You know, there was a whole thing about Megan went to hugging, they recoiled, apparently. Oh, again, yeah, that's again. such a hard one, isn't it? Because some people are natural huggers, some people naturally aren't huggers. I, I think mean... that's a real cultural oh, difference yeah, as well. I think, so. I think so much more in America 
they would step forward and hug. We are, uh, I mean, we are quite tight, aren't we, off in the British? You know, we put our hands out as possibly we can to keep people as far away as we possibly yeah. can. So I think, again, that's just a misunderstanding culturally. But just the, the royal difference. family. When you yeah. first meet the royal family, you wouldn't go and hug the Queen, would you? No. Well, I no. wouldn't. No. I did actually put my hand once on Prince Andrew's shoulder and got told off for it because I didn't. Did you? They're really? Where were you? Royalty. You're not meant to touch royalty. There's a rule. I went yeah. like that. And they went, ah! and I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God, yeah. work but, and I have to see of all the shoulders you could have touched. <laughs> <laughs> I would have chosen. <laughs>